Hi YouTube fans, I just want to show you my cup today and I want to show you all my fan that I got from the junkyard that come off of uh, an old refrigerator. And it's a three piece that makes it work. This can slip on your dry shaft without even taking off your dry shaft with that fan with these little two little round columns I made here. I'm going to show you how to put it on. Now all it takes is uh, two screws right here to put on this little hub right here. This little hub goes together and uh, it wraps around the the dry shaft here to put two together. So I'm going to show you how it goes. And of course your fan with the three screws in the middle of both your hub which you cut out in the middle so this can just drop right over your right over top of it but you got to make sure that the rotation is right so what I'm going to do I already know the right rotation I'm just going to show you by now see we know which way it turns it goes that way so this will have to go this way the pointed end right here goes towards the wind on in goes toward the wind so let's begin put this on here I have marked this for front that way and B for back so I want to put uh, B for back this way with the threaded holes on the bottom and you got your through holes here see right right through there the through holes so all these screws are 1024 and this Allen wrench is a 1.8 so this is a fairly uh, fairly simple uh, installment here don't tighten it all the way up just back it off with a little hair so you can get your other screw on the other side flip around where you can see it the reason why I made my uh, fan replaceable this way without taking the thing off is cause mother shaft of other tractors part right here was so rusted and the little pieces that go on the dry shaft right here I mean, it goes on the end of the yoke up here it goes to the hydrostat I couldn't get them loose but this is a different dry shaft I, this is a 5 8 a 3 quarter shaft with a joint I have one on the engine up there just as well I do back here but anyway what you want to do, you want to get these two gaps on the side that you put together. You want to get them about the same. So your screw holes are lined up. See, about the same now, though. So go ahead, go ahead and tighten them up so this hub don't spin. Pretty good, so it won't come loose. Now, simple part now is to slip that cut that cut place right onto the shaft. Just slip it right on there. Then slide it right on here. If you notice, I, uh, let me get it turned around. There's a mark here and a mark down there. You see it? One here and one here. I made that with, you could just line it up with the, uh, with that part. And you can see it. Now what you do now, just stick your little screws in from this side. There we go. That's one. But now you see one of the screws in there. I gotta put one, two more in there. Alright, there's my fan on there. It's on there good and tight. Ain't gonna fall off. See so we can start this booger up. Let you see it. There it is. Works real well. The wind blows back there and keeps this thing cool pretty well. Blows pretty hard. The rim doesn't even blow harder than that. I 
bet you're wondering why I have it universal joint in that 5 8 drive test on, on the uh, on the high cat is 5 8 but up here I got three four the reason why I done that I put a uh, generac 30 horse engine on there and uh, if you see it's a generac engine by looking at the see the front shaft tapered up there I had to make a special piece in here to adapt this 5.8 to my flywheel. I had to take a piece of four inch, turn it down to a flare, and put four holes in the hold up to the flywheel, and turn it down to, to uh, three inch, then down to uh, three quarter to get the shaft on that. But the reason why I went with three quarter because this 5.8 yoke on the back, it's hard to find, it's more expensive. The three quarter you can find it uh, better. So I just bought one five eight and two three quarter yoke, made it work. I ain't even got my muffler on here. I usually keep the muffler off. I made a little quick adapter here. That uh stick the muffler on there. Lock that on there, and you're ready to go. That's a homemade muffler I made, that's made, which don't sound too bad, but uh, this is my fan, my homemade fan installment. I just want to show you my how to get this motor in there. I had to cut the frame here. You see what whoop, uh, fall down. You see where I cut the frame oil up here? This side I didn't have to really cut it, but I went and cut it to match the other side. The other side has an oil filter in the way. And I also I had to raise it up. I had to raise this up because my hood was running, was running top of my uh, oil, oil thing here. So I raised the hood up, probably inch and a half. See that piece of metal there? You look to the other side, you'll see it. See it over there? So this, this piece here was down here. Now it's up here. It's a, first it's a half inch up above it. You see the same way up here. And the other side there is the other mountain. And I made, I got rid of the habit set up top, up here, this don't work. So I put it down here. I, uh, machined all this piece here, and this piece right here, this, this, a, inside here is a little old half inch shaft, you know, bar saw here. Put the arm on the other side, you see it moving over that's the arm. It runs over to my hydro cat. See it moving over I'm not going to do it hard to start moving. But anyway, this is my 30 horse Generac 1650. I've even installed me an oil light on here. You watch when I turn the engine off. If I turn the ignition on, oil light comes on but when I crank it up the oil light goes off see it's off now but when it's low oil that oil light will come on all right YouTube fan this is my 1650 Cub Cadet with my Generac 30 horse motor on there